Hello, Super Dungeon Boy here, and we got emotes, emotions for the character. This is a fun little tips and tricks for Elder Scrolls Online or simply ESO. Um, anyways, you can basically do all kinds of little neat things. You can make them laugh. You can make them shush people. You can push people. You can cheer them. You can. There's tons of things. And uh, I had to turn the volume down if you're curious to why you can't really hear the character too well. Um, I assure you, he's making sounds and making noises. It's not just a blank emotion. Or, sorry, a soundless emotion. Uh, there's just people in the back of this game, like, uh, they just don't shush. Like, they're yelling obscenities, or they're doing something, or... And I'm trying to keep this, like, a PG-13-ish. not trying to have any language problems. Anywho, um, so I just had to make this video. I, I got so tired of seeing so many people call them noobs, call them beginners, call them whatever you want to call them. You know, if you want to be harsh and call somebody a moron, I think that's a little that's a little bit pushing it there because we all we all are morons at a point when we start something. Uh, for instance, like, I didn't even know you could get these cool costumes online. Look at this. You can get this off the crown store. Look at this creepy jester. Look at this guy. Uh-oh. What's he gonna do? Oh. That's the stuff nightmares are made of. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, you can also, uh, do this cool, um, skeleton outfit. If this guy would get on my way, out of my video. Thank you, sir. Video time. You go away now. Why did my crab defend me? See that little crab thing back there? That's my pet. Uh, <laughs> I in my head I make him a vampire uh, crab, which it's not a real thing. You cannot have a, vi a vampire crab. Um, I don't know. I just make him. <laughs> so I call him Crab Eula, like Dracula, but Crab Eula. Never mind little inside joke amongst my friends. Uh, anywho. So, <sighs> there's a couple things in, in this game that I think are super important that people don't know about. Go to your options, and basically look at this. Prevent attacking innocence. That is so important. Make sure to put that on. Prevent it. Auto loot is basically where you steal stuff on the ground uh, you know, off of dead bodies and or crates or whatever, and you don't have to look at a text box. It just pops into your inventory and it'll show in the left corner. Like you picked up apples, you picked up the treasure map. Um, now look at this health bar. Okay, what if you didn't know any better? Is this an enemy? You don't know. Like if you're a noob, you know you have no idea. So turn it on. <gasps> look at that green. What does that mean? This means that they're a friendly. Okay. So, these are people you don't want to attack, even though you put on the prevent attack thing. This just helps you basically uh, distinguish friend from foe. So, yellow would represent neutral, and then red is always bad. Now, <clears throat> there's other settings under there I did not go through, but uh, take your time and look at them and play around with the options and figure out what you like. Um, I was just showing off my level three low stats there don't be jealous um, anyways uh, I'm just doing a quick little mission here um, basically going to fly through this I don't even listen to the text or the talking or whatever uh, I, I just fly through it I, I constantly make new characters and I constantly oh I don't know kind of a bad habit I, I guess I make these like new characters and then I end up erasing them and I don't know I, I guess I'm a perfectionist or something I don't really know what my problem is but I'm only a perfectionist when it comes to creating characters I don't, I don't know what the hell my deal is oh, uh, anyways so steal everything you can possibly find in the game uh, just look I mean I just got 30 gold coin or something that I stole for 30 coin value Another 30 coin value item. Uh, 
I mean, these things add up, folks, because gold is hard to get in this game. And now he just gave me some gold for this mission. Now, I can't read this one in my editing small little picture box I'm looking at right now. So I think it was either 91 gold or 41 gold. You know, you can comment down below if you want to correct me. I don't really care. Uh, but it basically wasn't a lot of gold. And, you know, uh, if you're used to, like... And Elder and other Elder Scrolls games, where you get hundreds of thousands of gold and all that, you could do that, but you gotta really play the economy in this game, and you basically gotta trade, and you gotta really grind. And there's other ways, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna promote any wrongdoing in the game. Like there's some underhanded things you can do to people online to make money in the game, uh, but I'm not going to tell you what they are, because I don't want to put bad thoughts in your head. Just know that, uh, I just recently learned, sorry, that there's things that you can't do in this game. Another tip. So, you hear about sometimes people selling vampire bites and werewolf bites and all this. Did you know that you're not allowed to do that? Now, uh, I don't, I hear different stories from different people online. Some people say that it's kind of a gray area. Some people say that it's, you know, it's completely no-no for selling these vampire bites or werewolf bites. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in a nutshell, you go get bit by a vampire or werewolf, then you do whatever the side mission is, then become full vampire, werewolf, whatever, and then so many days, and plus when you level up enough in werewolf or vampire, uh you basically can go and go bite others. Now, I think the original idea was you would go bite people in your guild or your friends or whatever for free, and uh, you would just basically, uh, you know, that's it. You know, you want to be a vampire? No thing. For free, here you go. Problem. People don't give away such a gift for free. People, you know, find ways to ruin the game by making a profit. And it, it's kind of really sad because... You know, here's the thing. To be a vampire in this game is really hard. You have to go to a place called the Rift. And you gotta go get bit by a vampire in the wild. And hope that you don't have any disease prevention. Um, and it has to be a very particular time and a very particular place. And whatever, whatever, whatever. The natural way is really hard. It is really hard. The werewolf way... Um, more or less the same way, it's actually a little easier to contrast that virus, and that's what it is, it's a virus, like a curse, and uh, it takes a, a couple days or whatever, you mutate, etc, etc. Look up more of it if you want, I'm not going to explain everything about it, but people basically sell those things, and they sell them for anywhere from tens of thousands of gold in the game, all the way up to, uh, you know, I'm not up to, but, uh, I think the, the largest amount I think anybody ever bought that I've heard of was 25,000 for one vampire bite. So, yeah. Anyways, um, when you have stolen goods in the game, by the way, if you're watching the video rather than just listening to me ramble, um, you go to this little Thieves Guild thing, this refuge uh, Outlaws Refuge. I call it the Thieves Guild. I, I know it's not what it's originally called, but I mean, come on now. You might as well call it what you see here. It's a thief. It's it's a guild of thieves and traitors, and you know, uh, whatever. Just this is where you sell your stuff. Um, you basically just keep watching the video. You'll see it. I don't know what point it's coming up, but it's coming up. Uh, another tip: read books. Read all the books you can possibly find now. I mean, like, bookshelves and uh, these little bluish purple books called lore books. You need to uh, go find the lore books. Not lord, lore. L-O-R-E. Lore. Anyways, uh, basically, go look those up, and somebody somewhere told me that you get something for finding all those books, and I don't know, it's kind of like a... Cracker Jack prize of some sort. I don't really know. <laughs> but, um, anyways, here you go with the fence. The one that buys your stolen goods. And there's two things you can do. You can launder and you can sell. Laundering 
is basically where you're going to make something illegal into legal. And like say if there was a item that I really wanted to make legal. Like I stole this pair of pants here. Um, did I already do it? Oh, yeah, I did. And I basically paid whatever the fee was. Now I made them legal. Now they're mine. Uh, so you can basically t uh, do that if you wish. Or just sell the items. It's up to you. You can only sell um, X amount of items per day. When you level up your... Um, is it your... Oh god, I don't even know. Le legendary something. I forget what the hell it's called. There's a skill line that you can level up. And I c it escapes my brain right now. I can't think. But um, anyways, real fast. This merchant here. Uh, you can buy some lock picks. You can buy some repair kits. Most merchants I've seen, you can buy lock picks and repair stuff. Um, regular merchants, mind you. That, from what I've seen, not to be confused with like blacksmithing merchants or armor merchants or cooks or whatever. Uh, so let's see. Basically, sell your stuff, steal stuff. Um, don't get caught. If you get caught, you can pay the fee or come to this thieves guild thing. Pay the fee off, keep your stolen items, and go and sell your items. Um, put that prevent uh, attacking innocent things on. Uh, watch more YouTube videos, not only of me, but like of other people. And, you know, by the way, I'm not going to be doing like tons and tons of these kind of videos. I just, I got so annoyed of watching people make so many mistakes in the game. I just couldn't help myself, and I just wanted to make this video to help people out. Um... You know, don't forget to hit a like or any of that kind of good stuff. Or a comment below would be nice. I don't really care if you subscribe. That's, you know, no pressure, man. But, um, anywho, uh, Elder Scrolls, what can I say? You know, it's a great game. And uh, if you want to know what kind of race or class or whatever to pick, maybe I'll make another video. We'll see.